Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to show you how to use Google Vision CR technology to extract text from images. First you need to go to your GCP Google Cloud account and you're going to create the API under API library. Type in Cloud Vision API. Select that from the list. I've already enabled this. You'll have to enable this if this is the first time you're using this. But then once you've enabled it, you click on manage. Mainly you're coming here for the credentials. So you're going to create new credentials. You select the service account. Type in the name. And a description. And you click on create. Once that's done, you want to grant owner access to this. And you continue. And there's no need to worry about granting users. So you click on done. Then you want to save these credentials to a JSON file on your hard drive. But first you need to add a key, select the JSON format. And once you click on create, this has saved the JSON file on your hard drive. Okay, now that we have the Google Vision service set up on the Google Cloud website, let's cover some code. So this is a Jupyter Notebook. It shows how to use Google Vision and it prints out the results from the service. First thing you need to know is that we need to use the Google Cloud SDK. So we need to include that. There's some instructions on how to set up your environment. Next, we use the JSON file that we created on the Google Cloud website. The one that I asked you to save the location of. There's no need to do anything to this file. Everything's already inside that file that you need. You just need to create an environment variable that points to it. Next, I have a function called detect text, and this does most of the work here. First thing I do is I create a client that is one of the vision clients. You can see that's the Google Cloud SDK. It's using the image annotator client version of the client. Next, I read the file, the image file that I'm going to send. I store the information in the variable called content. Then I use that variable when I send it to the vision.image function. I save the output of that into an image. This is where I'm calling the Google Cloud client, passing in the image using the document text detection function. I take my response and I look at the text annotations from that response. And then I create an empty list and for every line in that text, I append another entry into the list with some formatting. I have an error handler here and then my function returns the text that it found. I selected this image to use for processing. It's a driver's license. So I just call the detect text function up above using the image path to my image. And then result is text. Then I display the first item from text. And then I display every item in text line by line. And then I'm going to look at the image to see how accurate my OCR was. Okay, we'll go ahead and run this. First, it's reading the image path, detecting the text. Okay, it's finished, it's pretty quick. This actually runs on some very fast SSD hardware with GPUs in Google Cloud. So of, of the three major cloud services, this one's the fastest. Here's the text that it found. And you can look at the text line by line. It'll give you kind of the formatting of key value pairs. So if you need to know date of birth, it'll be formatted like that. And it's basically looking at the image to figure out what the fields and the values are. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the image and see how accurate we were. So in the image, you can see her name is Sample Janice Ann. And we have Sample Janice Ann, you see the 128, 128, 123 Main Street, Apartment 1, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All of this information is found in here. There's a few things that it got wrong, like Sertl. I think that's what it's looking at in this logo 
that's what it reads here. Uh, so it's good at if the text is clear, it's very accurate. If the text is a little bit smaller or maybe a background image, not so clear, a little bit fuzzy, then it doesn't do as well. But overall, it's 90, 95% accurate. Okay, so that's all I needed to show you. I'll save the repo link in the description below if you want to go ahead and download the code and run this yourself. Otherwise, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching our video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. As always, comments are appreciated. See you next time.